Deborah is a mother of six, living in Homa Bay County in Kenya. When she discovered that she was HIV positive, she thought that her life had come to an end. The first time when I know I'm positive, I was scared. Too much scared. It is hard to tell a husband that I have those things. It is hard. It is hard. I thought to kill myself. Deborah is one of thousands of women who are now receiving treatment from mobile clinics across the country. These clinics are part of the Beyond Zero campaign, which was launched by Kenya's First Lady at the beginning of 2014. There's a big problem here. A lot of children are dying unnecessarily. When mothers go to the clinics and either both don't survive or the child doesn't survive. As a mother myself, having had children in a more privileged way, it's devastating. It's heartbreaking for any mother. Beyond Zero aims to transform the health of mothers and children and eliminate new HIV infections. This is done through the use of clinics on wheels that can reach deep into Kenya's rural areas. The First Lady raised the money for them through training and running in marathon races, both in Kenya and abroad. A year later, the results are there for all to see. Within the last seven months, 21 mobile clinics have been distributed throughout the country. Today, they're providing basic medical care to thousands of Kenyan mothers and children. They're being used. When they uh, announce where the clinic will be, people actually do go to it. We've gotten feedback from some of the counties where we've delivered them, and uh, they're doing very well. I believe that the First Lady is very important in a community such as this because in the first place she's a parent so a lot of young people can identify with her as a mother so that if she's seen here in a clinic where the health of adolescents and young people is so important it then makes the parents to be able to say how do we help her, how do we ensure that what she's doing becomes successful in our community. Beyond Zero has been um, going on for over one year now and uh, definitely the most poorest parts of this country have benefited from this campaign. Thousands of patients have accessed essential services like antenatal care, HIV testing, financial health and these are definitely saving lives. For a long time, these communities have been neglected, far away from health services. But now with Beyond Zero, they're able to access health services just next door. The service has been very overwhelming because every now and then we are being called everywhere that we, they require services of our Beyond Zero track. We have seen a minimum number of people being referred because most of them we see them at our site. And then cases of complication at our nearest cell facility has gone down. And then with that political goodwill from our leaders, it has really been helpful to us because they have been doing a lot of advocacy for us. The beneficiaries in Baringo County have really, really benefited from this clinic, especially mothers and children. These are people who have received antenatal services, immunizations for their children, and for the few mothers who have delivered in this clinic, they actually attest and say, if it was not for the clinic, perhaps they would not be having a baby. Perhaps the mother would not be alive. Beyond 
the Beyond Zero campaign I heard on TV and radio. I saw the car, the doctors, they help us to get medicine, family planning, everything. If clinic is here, I'll be okay. But if clinic is not around, our kids will die, our old women, so we need clinic here. We get almost everybody coming here, other than uh, mothers and their children. We also have men coming with their various complaints, and we also have young boys also coming with their various complaints, ranging from diabetic, others complain of chest pains, and uh, many other ailments. People come in large numbers because they have seen a moving hospital going there. It's different from a dispensary somewhere. You'd find the number going to that dispensary is less than the number going to that mobile van. It is creating its own demand. It is something people see. It is something new to people. This is not just a formality for the First Lady. I really firmly believe that it is something that is after her own heart. The rewards have been amazing, amazing. When you go out there to the communities and you get the feedback, it, it's, it's really heartwarming. It is more than a success story. It is started like a campaign, but now it's a movement. Everywhere we go, every part of the country, within the region and outside, people are talking about Beyond Zero. We all work together and uh, like through the marathons, it's Kenyans for Kenyans. We're doing this together.